Greetings, my zombie friends. I am Ben Pearson, the Rosa Tracker, and we are playing the game Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. It's the month of October as I'm recording this, and, you know, in the United States that means Halloween, which means, you know, ghouls and ghosts and skeletons and zombies. And so we're going to play a game that features zombies. Now, this is a roguelike game, meaning that it has permadeath, it has uh, exploration as a key component, leveling up, RPG type of mechanics, but this is a very, very different kind of game. It's not so much about, you know, building a big old bad character that's going to go slay everything. It's more of a survival type of game. So we're going to try this. Um, we're going to create a... We'll do preset character and I'm going to load the last character I played. We're going to do something really, really basic because I'm not always that great at this type of game. But um, we're going to see how this goes. It may go horribly. We may only do a few episodes. We may try something quite fancy, but we're going to uh, figure this out. So let's just, can we, yeah, let's talk about this. We have multiple pools. So we have different points here, and our story is uh, there's some sort of a disaster that happened. In Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, it is every disaster that happens, quite frankly. Looks like I clipped a little bit, that's interesting. Um, so the zombie apocalypse is the big one, but there's also a lot of other different things that happen. Some really crazy stuff. I'll go ahead and be a male evacuee just to make things a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of different scenarios you can pick from here. If you want to do like a more classic roguelike, you can do like bottom of the mine, you're in a mine. You have to try to figure out a way out. And there's all sorts of fun things. And maybe we'll try one of these other ones here if this works well. So we are a survivor. You know, there's tons of crazy things you can do here. Uh, background, let's go, hmm, lock picking. Yeah, sure. We're going to be the lock picking survivalist. Okay. Uh, looks like we have to take this down one. Maybe that's because does lockpicking give us a plus one or something? Okay. That's fine. Hmm. Just trying to figure this out. Okay, then we can add in some traits. Let's see. What are some good ones? Um, Toptimist? Nah. Quick. So we only have one point. Let's try maybe fast healer. Yeah, no. We could do some positive and some negative. So negative, it's albino. No, we don't want a sunburn. That seems a little crazy. I'm not gonna be clumsy. I'm not gonna do forgetfulness. High thirst, you know. Uh, sure, we're going to be thirsty. Because I feel like I'm thirsty all the time. Nearsighted. Maybe. I don't think we want a sleepy. Um, can't think about putting filthy clothes on yourself, especially from zombie corpses. You know, 
It's not a good idea to do this anyways, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Um... <clears throat> Is there any other skills that would be... Fructose intolerant, chemical imbalance... Maybe inattentive. No, that's not something we want. Insomniac. We'll be an insomniac. Okay. So to balance this off, we're going to take... Um, let's see. Cannibal. I don't think we're going to do a cannibal. That doesn't seem right. Let's do... Quick is probably a good... How about tough? Let's do tough. And we're gonna do... Good memory. Okay. Oh, we have to take this down. Let's take our food handling down. So we have one more point. What, in our profession? Background, maybe? Oh, we can add a point to our background. You know, this whole multi-pool thing, let's just do single pool. Bookating? No, we're not gonna do bookating. Uh... Ham radio... Let's just do a stat, we'll do... Intelligence. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so we have our character here. And I'm going to leave this as just a character creation. We'll, we'll take a quick peek at the world. So we are a survivor. We are a lockpicking really high intelligence. Let's try strength. Wait. We've got uh, survival skills. Which seems like they're a good idea. And I think this is gonna do it. So we'll go ahead and create this. And you can see here, uh, we have started out in a shelter of some kind. So we're going to start off next time with exploring the shelter more and then we'll take a peek at the outside world. Thanks guys for joining me in this character creation and we will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.